Bill Salisbury, and we're very glad to be with you by means of this recording. Wish we could be there in person. Yeah, hey, Uncle Bill, how do you be a missionary? Well, the first thing that you have to know is that Jesus lives within that heart and that life of yours. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> how can Jesus live in my heart? And if I don't have a heart, and I'm not alive. Well, that's, that's because you're... No, don't say it. Don't say what? You're going to say because you're a dummy. Uh, well, what do you want me to say? Because you're a snorty. Oh, okay. Now, getting back to what we were saying, in order to be a missionary, a young person must know he has sinned, and uh, that he's done bad things. He must know that he has to be forgiven. Now, how, how do you do that? Who, who has to do it? Well, only God can forgive the bad things that you do. Uh, so a young person must know that Jesus died on the cross for his sin, and he has to be sorry, and he has to ask the Lord to forgive him. How can Jesus do that? Well, you see, Jesus is God. He died on the cross, and he bled there, and he took the young person's sin on his own body, dying for them, and rose again victorious. Yeah, is he a missionary then? Uh, not yet. You see, now he has to trust Jesus to help him. He has to read his Bible, and he has to listen in Sunday school and church. He has to grow stronger in the Lord. He has to become that strong Christian and love the Lord Jesus Christ more and more. Now is he a missionary? <laughs> Not yet. Now he has to notice that his friend needs Jesus to live in his heart and his life as well. No, oh good. Now he's a missionary. No, not yet. He has to realize that his friend can't go to heaven unless his friend believes that Jesus died on the cross for his sin. So he has to tell his friend how to trust Jesus as his Savior. And now... No, let me say it, Uncle Bill. Now he is a missionary. And we're glad, and thank you very much, Uncle Cousin, the Smarty. No, thank you.